Hello, and welcome to Culture Shock. I'm Evan, and... I'm Brent. And what are we talking about today, Brent? Today we're talking about futons. Well, now, those are flat on the floor. They are. These are Japanese-style futons. Hmm. Yes, so the Japanese have their own version of futons, which are these uh, flat mattresses on the floor with a quilt on top. Hmm. Um, and they have these, these, two, uh, these two parts. So the bottom is called a shiki buton. A shiki buton. Yes, and the top is a kake buton. Kake buton. Which is just the mattress and the, the, the cover on top. Hmm. And they were originally these sort of round cushions that were stuffed with cattail spikes. Which can be very soft. The plant. The plant. Yes. Cattails. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you just take those and uh, stuff them into um, uh, into a mattress, basically, and that can create a nice soft mm. cushion that you can sleep on. And uh, of course, these days the mattresses are stuffed with you know cotton and wool. Polyfold. And, uh, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not quite that way. But the the nice thing is they're foldable, mm. right? So you can roll them up. Uh, they're actually sold in these uh, specialty stores called Futon Ya. So just like we have mattress stores here, they have futon stores in Japan. Right. You can go there and you get, um, you know, nicer, more expensive ones or less expensive ones. Um, and the reason that they are designed this well, why do you think they're designed this way? Well, they look very portable like this, almost like a sleeping bag. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly the idea is that once you woke up in the morning, you can fold that up and put it into a cabinet and thus use the room. Ah, so reclaim the space for other purposes. Right, exactly. Now, this, as with so many things, this has multiple purposes. Those mats on there, they're called tatami mats. Tatami mats. Made out of bamboo. They have to breathe, hmm. meaning that they can't be suffocating under a, a, an object all the time. They'll warp and they'll have... Not uh, the moisture and air and exactly. ventilation. So you, you really have to get these, these beds off of them uh, every day. Hmm. So the advantage of them, this is you can do that. You just get them, get them out of the way. Roll them up and mm -hmm. or fold them. Yeah, fold them up. Yep, and then and put them away. Uh, if you see my neighbor Totoro, you'll see yeah. them rolling up uh, or, or folding futons and putting them away. It's, it's Your neighbor done. Totoro. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's neighbor. Totoro. Every yeah. <laughs> um, now, um, also futon need to be aired regularly, ideally mm. every day. Hmm. Uh, because you're sleeping on this mattress and you, you know, it needs to get aired. You can see this a lot in anime. You'll see these these futons on uh, like drying um, uh, clotheslines, oh. uh, or on um, in an apartment complex. You'll see them over the railings. You'll hmm. see these these they look like blankets, but they're actually the futon that are all drying during the day. Hmm. Uh, in fact, a common thing in anime and live action uh, Japanese in general is when it starts to rain, folks will run out. Ah, oh, don't want to get your bed wet. Exactly. I mean, it's, oh my goodness, I have to sleep in a Well, now, if, if it's on the floor, does it get dusty or? It can, but okay. it, it, it does need to be cleaned regularly. Hmm. So there's this object called a futon tataki. A tataki? Yes. A futon tataki. looks exactly like a wooden tennis racket. Um, <laughs> just, and and we, we have these over here, you know, you whack, 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 exactly. whack. They have the exact same thing over <laughs> in Japan. Poof, poof. Uh, and you use that to um, basically beat the, 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 the futon to keep it soft and fluffy just like anything else. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, now, this is, this is different from what I've been familiar with so, uh, yeah. as a futon. So you may be familiar more with something like this, maybe? Yes. Yes. I've seen those. <laughs> That's a Western style futon. It's a different kind of furniture, hmm. um, but it's just called a futon. For whatever reason, this is the, the word shifted around. Uh, so this is basically a couch that folds flat and can be used to sleep on. Again, it's a similar thing, but because it, it, it actually has a, a frame and a structure, it's not the same as a Japanese hmm. futon. Quite hmm. a bit different. Right, exactly. Uh, and again, because those things need to be aired out. Now, this being Japan, the uh, Society of Convenience and Technology, if you don't have time to beat your futon every day or dry it out, there's a futon dryer that you can buy. <laughs> and so they have this thing that you plug Technology. it in, basically. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Uh, so you can basically plug it into your mattress and dry it out and, and blows air through the mattress to... Uh, Freshen it up and fluff it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it, it works pretty well. Yeah. So. Wow. So now, do most people sleep on futons? It's changing. Mm. Um, so I would say probably most people don't sleep on futons anymore. It is a more traditional Japanese um, uh, thing. Most folks have Western-style beds. Mm. Um, you'll see this more out in the country. You'll also see it more in ryokan, traditional Japanese inns. Oh. So if you go to one of those old inns, especially the ones with the, uh, you know, the bath uh, uh. attached, they will have futons exactly like this. 
and uh, you'll and in fact there'll be at some point during the during the evening you get a phone call and someone at the front desk will say we're ready to bring in the futons and so they'll actually um, <laughs> come into your room and unfurl all the futons get them all ready for you and then the next morning they'll come in and they'll, they'll take them all away wow yeah a very authentic feeling <laughs> to 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 the adventure there exactly um, so yeah you know the the advantage of the futon is that it, you can reclaim space with it mm. the disadvantage is you have to a little more work. <laughs> yeah, to work with it. So they're kind of falling out of favor as time goes on. Hmm. Uh, the other advantage, though, is they're less expensive. So especially hmm. if you are a Ronin, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're studying for exams, you're have, supposed to have Tight on space. space, may have to move. <laughs> yeah. It's easier than uh, hauling around a huge <laughs> mattress and box springs. <laughs> and that's the other side of it, is that there are so, still so many places in Japan where they have such small apartments. Mm. Often it's not practical to have a bed. Mm. That would take up so much of your space. Yeah. Um, so th there's still a lot of places where that's just the more practical solution. Mm. I, I, can see, I can see the benefit of having something like that. Mm. Uh, of course, being able to turn it into a couch is also pretty convenient <laughs> if you have guests over. So Exactly. Uh, but then they're sleep. They're, then they're sitting on your bed, and if you want to, mm, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> ah, trickiness. It's a trade-off. <laughs> yep, exactly, exactly trade-off. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for joining us mm. on this episode of Culture Shock. Yeah. Uh, please, if you've enjoyed this, check out our other episodes of Culture Shock and some of our other shows and programs mm -hmm. at geekarchaeologists.com. We dig deeper. We dig deeper.